Hey everyone, happy day wherever you are. Happy Friday and happy weekend if you're already underway. I know that on Fridays people might leave work early or they, um, they have casual Fridays and they have just a different energy and a vibe. They go out for lunch. So whatever it is that you're doing on your Friday to celebrate the beginning of days of rest, just enjoy that to the fullest. And I'm making this quick wellness video to promote tropical exotic fruits and vegetables, but mostly the fruits because the fruits are um, just a joy and a pleasure and a delight. And I realize now more than ever that despite that so much food is not locally grown that I'm consuming or that you may be consuming, but that's and that's okay it doesn't have to be um it doesn't have to be locally grown for you to reap the benefits for your health i consider it a blessing and a luxury that we even have access to so many amazing foods that we cannot grow ourselves and that don't grow in our neighborhoods or even in our country and by having access and taking in a lot of these exotic tropical fruits and vegetables from other locations, we can actually receive more vitamins, more nutrients, minerals, phytonutrients that we don't even know about, beneficial compounds and chemicals and, and micro components, micronutrients and beneficial microbes, bacteria through that soil, the energy and the prana from those countries. And we can receive that from our own location. So um, nothing, nothing to uh, smirk at, nothing to um, dismiss. And if you have access to those things like blueberries that come from another state or um, the tropical fruit that I'm talking about today. So just to give you a sense, I'm going to um, flip the camera around so that you can see the soursop that I'm referring to in the description. So there we go, friends. So this is the soursop. And the soursops come in a variety of shapes and sizes. So if you can see, it's like the size of my palm, which is... Um, not necessarily the hugest palm in the universe. So this is soursop and I bought this piece yesterday and they actually are not usually available um, in the local market. They just, just one shop that I went to, the shipment came in last week and they still have a few left ever since the day. The reason that I actually chose soursop is because I've never tried soursop prior to last week, but I had a dream where spirit, my angels, spirit, um, they brought soursop to my attention. And I really don't know why um, or what it meant because I've never had soursop in my life and I didn't even know what it was. I had only seen soursop in the um in the pictures of bottled uh bottled juices and just to give you a sense i bought another one it's in this baggie and i'm letting it the other one the one that i just opened was super ripe so here's a, f a one without cutting okay so this is another sou soursop and it's about the same size as this little mango this little Haitian, or no, this one's from Mexico, right? Yeah, that's what it says. Um, some of them come from Haiti and some of them come from Jamaica. They told me that these actually come from Jamaica. So that's amazing. That's awesome. And um, I'm going to show you the other, I put the other soursop to take in the sun. Um, so, and I put it next to the bananas, so I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So here we go, another little soursop, and I put these by the windows so they can receive the prana and the pure sunshine. And, um, here we have some guavas. These are guavas that mom bought last week, and they're ripening. 
right there. So we've got three and some extras in the fridge. I've got my bananas here. As you know, I love my bananas. And these were $1! Woo! I celebrated so much when I saw these. Guys, you should have seen me at the supermarket. I was like, I, got, I grabbed four bundles. So here we have three total bundles. And I started the fourth one already. And here is our beloved honeydew melon. Taking in the prana, taking in the life force. And this melon comes from Mexico as well. So, you know, Mexico is just amazing, just amazing um, for all its amazing beauty. Here we've got mango. Mango delight, letting it ripen as well because um, it was on the hard side last night. So I put those two friends here. These two friends, mango friends, if we keep them in the fridge, then they'll be a little bit longer in ripening. So here again, this is the soursop. This was the hardest um, one that I bought. I actually bought this one uh, two days ago or one day ago. And um, I bought it with another piece that I ate already. It was really good. It tastes like gum. Um, so uh, again, I had never tried soursop prior to last week. And now that I have, I understand what it's all about. And this is a mango <laughs> that I put here as well to soften because uh, my mother tipped off um, a dead end. Um, but yet it's still hard. So it has to ripen before we can actually enjoy it. These are the bananas from Guatemala. Amazing bananas. And bananas, these are not organic and that's all right. Um, you know, not all produce has to be organic. Sometimes it's too much to, like it, it's the price is prohibitive to get everything organic and totally like that makes so much sense. Um, and bananas actually are okay if you don't get them organic because they have a thick outer layer. They have their thick uh, shell, the peel. So um, you're really, oh, you know, it's all right. Um, but when I get organic bananas, which they have them around here actually in the supermarket, I just totally enjoy that. So um, those were the fruits receiving the sunshine. I love to put them in the sun and I talk to them. And um, yeah, and this is the other soursop that's a little bit hard. So it's like... You know, like these are not big, but the first one that I bought last week, it was huge. It was like about the size of my head, which um, it's my head. Like I don't have the hugest head in the universe, but it's still pretty, uh, it's a head. <laughs> so um, yeah, you know, and soursop has very important and amazing benefits. I read up on it and it's an anti-cancer fruit. It can fight inflammation in the body. And it's also apparently great for eye strength and for eye vitality. So it's high in vitamin C, in, high in the, all the vitamins, probably like vitamin A, um, but vitamin C, it's super high. Um, it has great phytonutrients. The flavor is fantastic. And you can combine it in juices, you can make it in milkshakes, you can, if you have milk, if you eat, drink milk, which um, may not be superbly great, but that's your business. Um, but yeah, this is the soursop, and it looks kind of weird from the outside, but once you dig into it and you taste the pleasures and the delight of it, like, it's amazing. Um, and yeah, so those are some of the benefits. I had actually written down other benefits uh, of soursop. So like anti-cancer, anti-inflammatory for the body. Um, and yeah, great for your eye health. And pretty much those were the main ingredients. And I have a friend who mentioned the leaves, graviola. Graviola is used if you make it in a tea, the graviola leaves, which they sell in the supermarkets as well in the markets, in especially like East, uh, West Indian and Indian Asian markets um, and South American because these are fruits that come from the Caribbean, the tropics. Um, and actually, Colombia is technically the exporter of the highest quality soursop. In Spanish, it's called guanabana. And um, yeah, my mother, she, when I mentioned it to her, she was like, oh my God, that's a great 
fruit fruit um and it's expensive though here so like it's 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 a luxury as i said you know having access to all our veggies and fruits it's a marvelous luxury so if that's what you have accessible to you just remember that it is a blessing and a luxury that we can even eat the fruits and the veggies and they bring so much benefit to your body to your liver to your heart and lungs to your eyes to all of your cells and your your digestion, your your kidneys, your adrenal glands, the stomach lining is boosted by the natural components of these fruits and vegetables. Um, you just can't go wrong. It's just an extremely beneficial thing to enhance your your nutrition or diet. Um, so yeah, so that's like basically the message that I wanted to share with you. Um, in terms of this, the marvelous soursop. And um, yeah, I actually had here, there we go, amazing benefits of soursop. I had looked into it. I'll just uh, flip this around. So you could see here the soursop benefits, um, phytonutrients, and it just tastes superb, lots of ailments, and for the body, it has a lot of antioxidants and phytonutrients that can fight disease-causing cells and even certain kinds of tumors. Now, I mean, just don't refer to one website. You can look at many sources and know that there are, like, it improves eye health, helps to fight inflammation, and um, it can aid in diabetes treatment, boost kidney and liver health, respiratory health, and relieve stress. So yeah, the, it, I did read that it has like a calming effect on the nervous system, and um, which can be really great. So if you're going to have this in your, if you're going to eat a fruit in the evening, there we go, soursop, high vitamin C. Um, it, you can have it in the evening if you want something like that and um, it can actually have a soothing effect on your system, your nervous system. It can potentially kill pancreatic cancer cells. So for people with pancreas issues and it treats infections. Um, so yeah, and this is specifically the graviola leaf um, so very nice. So it's also called custard apple, papa, guajavano, guanavana, gujavano, graviola. And yeah, so, um, and then it said that it's usually found in South America and Colombia produces the highest quality. In Venezuela, it also produced and the strained pulp is preserved in Costa Rica. And here we go, a synopsis of the benefits. This is Dr. Axe's website. Um, so yes, everyone, there we go. It's got one gram of protein per 100 grams of soursop fruit and fiber 3.3 get your fiber to cleanse your digestive organs your digestive tract and um yep you can eat it raw and it tastes amazing and you can let it ripen on the countertop or in the fridge yeah like many other fruits so i love it it's really nice look at all these vitamins that it's get that it's getting into you um, yes, yes, everyone. So the sour sap, I'm now going to dig into this beauty. It smells really nice. To me, it tastes like gum. So I'm going to have that and I'm going to combine it after with a banana, getting my bananas in, vitamins, vitamin C, fiber, delicious fiber, potassium, um, and also with some amazing celery and my greens powders, wheatgrass and spirulina and barley grass. And yes, yes, so that's it. Our beautiful soursop, guanabana. It's a blessing and a luxury to share this with you. And I'm really thankful for the opportunity and I'm blessing this food with love and joy and light. And remember that your fruits and veggies are a pure blessing. They're a pure luxury. 
So whenever you have access to them, let's not take these things for granted. They are incredible, incredible things that help to heal the body, help to make you feel better and better about life, and that give you life. You know, this is a life-giving food food that gives life it does not take away from you it only gives you more vitality this is giving back to you not just this but the banana and the mango and the lime and the lemon the mango will give me more life so when you choose your foods ask yourself is this giving me life or is it making my body work harder to digest it and is it taking away my life because there are foods that will take away from the vitality. So focus on the foods that give life, giving life, creating life, boosting up your life, okay? That is really fundamental. And um, yeah, and as we nourish ourselves much better, we can build up our life and learn to love ourselves more, learn to love life more, and appreciate more the natural things that are here for you. Okay, so that's been totally inspired by the soursop totally blessed that I can share this with you. Soursop and um, those little black things are the seeds and I'm going to extract them and just take piece by piece from the inside. So yeah, you can eat it with your hands and get all nice and dirty like a mango or you can have it with a fork and be a little bit more polite. Um, so whatever strikes your fancy, even if it's not a soursop, Get yourself into fruits and veggies. Try out a new fruit, a new veggie. Even if it looks kind of scary, you never know. You might love it. I'm discovering that with this fruit. And it's from where my parents are from. So um, there we go. This is the soursop. And I had never seen it before last week in my life. But it's full of vitamins and nutrients, phytonutrients, antioxidants, minerals, it has fiber, it tastes amazingly delicious, so beneficial. So again, friends, choose foods that give life, life-giving foods, choosing the things that fill us with divine energy, positive radiance, and vitality. And let that shine from within to the without. Again, choosing those fruits and veggies that are so complimentary. And if they're being shipped in from wherever, hey, giving thanks, knowing it's a luxury and it's a blessing to have access to these particular foods. More than any cooked foods, these are the blessings because they are there for us. And they nourish you and they give you life in a natural way, in a wholesome, pure way. You can't really, you can't really make this. This is made from the earth. So connecting with your original source, with your God creator, that's what these foods can help us to align with. And so I will leave it at that. I love you a lot and thank you for being part of my life. And I'm wishing you an amazing continuation. Thank you for joining and see you next time for whatever we explore and discover on the next wellness segment. I'm Jennifer from Personal Power Wellness, Life Coaching. Lots of love. God bless you and see you soon. Bye for now.